The University of the Free State is one of the oldest institutions of higher education in South Africa. Established in 1904, the institution produces sought-after graduates on three campuses in Bloemfontein and Kwakwa in the Eastern Free State. Through the years, the university has grown to more than 40,000 undergraduate and postgraduate students spread across seven faculties. The UFS creates opportunities and growth through leading learning and teaching, focused research and impactful engagement with society. Situated in the heart of South Africa, our character of caring and diversity translates into an outstanding university experience. Most distinguished graduates and participants, by virtue of the power vested in me as chancellor, I hereby constitute this congregation of the University of the Free State for the awarding and conferral of qualifications in the Faculty of Education. I therefore award and confer qualifications on all the candidates presented to this congregation. In addition, I hereby award and confer qualifications on those whose names appear in the program. Welcome to the virtual graduation ceremony of the University of the Free State. A special word of welcome to the members of the university management and our chancellor, Professor Bunang Mohale, who are part of the ceremony. Congratulations to our graduates. This is a special day indeed. And it is certainly heartwarming to see so many of you being conferred these well-deserved qualifications today. You should be proud of your achievements. The fact that you had to adjust to a new normal to accomplish what you have in a very challenging time is no easy feat. Take a moment to celebrate and acknowledge you. Let us take a moment to acknowledge, reflect on the personal losses that many of you have experienced. At the same time, you would not have reached this milestone without the support of many people around you. Let us also acknowledge and express gratitude to your support structures the parents, family, friends, guardians, and lecturers who made it possible for you to be here today. As you venture into the world, you will find yourself contemplating what your role in the world is and what kind of world you want to live in. Sometimes the road ahead can be challenging and complex. However, remember that the skills of hard work, resilience, determination and focus will help you forge ahead. After all, these are the skills that have helped you to achieve your University of the Free State qualification. Also be mindful 
that collective and individual responsibility is important to our success. This became very clear during the pandemic. Reach out to others, lend a helping hand wherever you can. Support each other, involve yourselves in your communities, and most of all, be kind and humane. Be mindful of these in everything that you do. Graduates, I am proud of your resilience. You are truly inspiring, and I am confident that you are well prepared to embrace the future and flourish in anything you set your mind to. Be brave, be bold, and make a difference in this world. I conclude with the famous words of Mahatma Gandhi, you must be the change you want to see in the world. Graduates, simply put, recognize that change is inevitable and that every moment in life offers us an opportunity for positive change and to remain in touch and grounded. Initiating personal change allow us to rise to any challenge and become better as a result. Congratulations. Bye, Halak. Ria, le le buhisa.
Kuna bubele Kuna buntu Utobekile Ulili solomu sinobisi Unobunkanga Unamanta Unobukule Utobekile Kamba kwe zintile Afrika Kaya nami msanti wami Oh, umuse msanti Afrika Oh, umuse msanti Mr. Chancellor, I have the privilege of requesting you to award the following qualifications to the candidates that I introduced to you. The Faculty of Education Certificates.
most distinguished graduates, participants, and guests. At last, you have arrived at your graduation day. Today is a special day indeed. Few events and occasions hold as much significance as this special day. This day is just as important for those who have supported you along the way. This has truly been a challenging year for universities. In the face of the COVID-19 pandemic, universities have been tested by pivoting to fully remote or hybrid learning and facing the financial constraints of the pandemic. Many of you had to overcome a lot during your journey to get here today. You had your own personal challenges, challenges inside and outside the lecture rooms. Some of you have lost loved ones to the COVID-19 pandemic, while others have had to deal with funding for studies or even both. The list is endless. To those of you who have experienced immense loss, my heart goes out to you. Many of you are also feeling the loss of freedom with the restrictions imposed on travel, access to university and its facilities, and general socializing. In fact, the general ecology of university and academic life has changed immensely. Many of you are the first in your families to reach this milestone. So even in the midst of the disruptive year you experienced, you have earned this moment and you should be extremely proud. The question many of you are asking is, now what? Where to from here? Many of you already have the answer to that question. Perhaps a job, an entrepreneurial pursuit, or graduate school. The way forward still needs to be determined for others. Always acknowledge and recognize the significance of your achievements as you transition from being a university of the free state student to a university of the free state graduate. It has often been recognized that an educated workforce would drive an economy. Universities have been imperative in contributing to the development of society and our economy and essential to a successful democracy. However, in recent years, the belief that higher education is a public good and worthy of investment is no longer commonly held. In fact, education is now known to fulfill a personal benefit. Moreover, the explosion of the information age and exponential rate of the growth of technology has been the most disruptive force. The impact of this rapid change on our students is immense. It is now estimated that today's college graduate will need to shift careers, not jobs, seven times in their lifetime. The question remains, how equipped are we to prepare students for these careers. Despite the vast changes due to the developments in technology and major breakthroughs across various sectors, we have not progressed as human beings. We are seeing an unusual rise in mental health issues and suicide rates. As a society, we are confronted with complex problems. Already, the inequalities in access to digital technologies and online learning are apparent, which will further affect social disparities both at national and global levels. As South Africans, our issues are further compounded by the painful past. 27 years into democracy, we have not collectively succeeded the legacy of apartheid. The challenges facing higher education are linked to the broader challenges facing South Africa, namely poor economic growth, high youth unemployment, and the paralyzing effect of the nine wasted years of state capture. 
the student protests and service delivery protests are a symptom of many societal ills and failures. While government may have had the resources, financially and technically, to map a way forward for the higher education sector, its ability to implement is severely constrained by political leadership and insufficient capacity. COVID-19 has further revealed that we have not transformed socially and economically, and that the disparities in income, wealth, and opportunities continue to hit the 15 to 34-year-olds the hardest. Our institutions are simply a microcosm of these broader socioeconomic fissures and fault lines. So where is the value in a university education? We can all agree that universities not only play a role in finding solutions in science and graduating scientists, but universities also play a pivotal role in creating value. This value is not the high paying jobs and companies that graduates create, although these are important. The value lies in the ability of universities to generate networks that power enlightenment, enable relationships of service and selfhood in community and global responsibility. Universities need to strike a balance between the pursuit of knowledge and vocational relevance. Of concern is the inability of many graduates to understand issues in a much broader context. Therefore, a modern university should be able to impart skills that will be valuable in employment, such as problem-solving skills, teamwork, and communication. We need the creativity of free young people to run the heart of a productive knowledge-based and digital economy. There is a need for more humane higher education to include more of the most vulnerable and traditionally excluded groups, to be more responsive to diversity and to reduce the digital divide. Collaboration is an essential ingredient of success. And we must continue to collaborate closely with business, industry, government, and the nonprofit sector. We must learn how to educate differently by identifying and investing in new modes of delivery and new ways of engaging and supporting our students. The ability of a university to engage with the general community is just as important as teaching, research, and fostering new ideas. The fundamentals of future higher education institutions should be values such as respect, empathy, equality, and solidarity that support and prepare learners for life. To be better citizens, to be more aware of their societal and civic responsibilities and role in the environment and not only for livelihood. We cannot have enough of critical thinkers and more tolerance, irrespective of gender, class, language, eth ethnicity, sexual orientation, among other identities. We would only have succeeded if we collectively could imbue these institutions of higher learning and, by definition, the next crop of leaders with a higher purpose, palpable ethical leadership, a demonstrable set of values, and thereby create an unambiguous, cohesive culture. A culture in which they feel needed and wanted, in which they feel free to speak their mind without any fear of retribution or reprisal. It is clear that higher education has the potential to function as an agent of change and a means of serving the greater good. How will you, as graduates of the University of the Free State, continue to serve that end and build on the right skills to be productive members of society, to continuously learn and develop, and to have the passion and desire to make a difference in the lives of others and make the world a better place. 
graduates of the University of the Free State. Remember that you are now all role models. Your involvement is what matters most in this country. Your willingness to act against injustice and inequality and your courage to stand up for what is right. These actions will define you and speak volumes. Our country needs your leadership. And many have been waiting for the likes of you to come along. Irrespective of what you undertake in the future, remember to pursue your passion. Even though the road ahead may be difficult, work hard and play hard, while also being mindful that the world is in constant change, with new opportunities always available. Remain open to new possibilities and embrace change. Make sure that you surround yourself with real people in real communities while inculcating kindness, empathy, passion, and awareness of the real issues. Align yourself with those who have a common cause. Carry along those who have been left out and those who are struggling. It is up to you to build bridges. Remain morally astute and grow your coalitions if you wish to tackle and complete the unfinished goals of this country and bring about a better world. Congratulations to all our graduates. May you have continued success in all your endeavors. By virtue of the power vested in me as chancellor, I hereby dissolve this congregation of the University of the Free State.